guys, welcome to this video. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. Um, I put a poll out yesterday on Instagram um, when I uploaded my vlog yesterday um, to see whether you wanted to um, watch me do a tour of my workspace and products or whether you wanted to see my top 10 of light elegance color and glitter gels um, so uh, the winner was the workspace tour um, by quite a bit by over 60 percent so um, that's what i'm going to do for you today so i'm here at my workstation and then i've also got like the little drawer caddy as well and i am going to show you through all of my cupboards and drawers and everything so that you can see exactly um, what I keep on my workstation and what I use to work with. So here we have my workstation. Uh, today is Monday so we don't have any customers in today which is why I was able to do this video. Um, so I have my big desk and these are from pretty much everything is from Ikea unless I say otherwise <laughs> because I love Ikea um, so I'm gonna start off by going through what's on the top of the desk then we'll go through the cupboards and then last of all we'll go through like the drawer caddy um, just as a disclaimer I have not tidied my desk for this video so this is exactly how it is when I work with it some of it is a bit messy I'm not gonna lie you'll find out soon um, but I thought, you know, what's a workspace tour if you don't actually show what it looks like on a real day-to-day -day basis. So I'm just gonna come around the front first, which is obviously the client view. And here we have uh, my frame with my display tips in. So we change this roughly every four months um because we change it with the season so when the new colors come out we do a new um set frame so this one was using the old hollywood collection obviously we've had uh you're invited come out a couple of weeks ago and we have a nail art day on a week today so those will be changing uh next week and then just below i have the pack of the colors um, the glitter one got a bit messy, so I've put those in the drawer. I'll show you those later. Um, and then I'll come back around to my side so I can show you where all of my things are that I use while I'm working. So um, I've got my trusty old uh, Light Elegance LED Plus lamp. Um, I love this lamp. Um, I would like to get a second one so I can keep one on each side. Um, they are quite expensive so uh i haven't quite managed to afford that just yet that is the plan in the long run um then i have just a metal i think this is um like a utensil container for like the kitchen um but it works really well for the files so um in here we've got some oh some nsi files uh we got some like elegance files a uh, foamy buffer which I absolutely love um, some old CND buffers I need to get rid of those really because I don't actually use them um, like elegance perfect file some CND Kanga files which we use for like natural nail manicures because they're much thinner than the um, the other files that we have so um, just got a range of those in there problem is when I take them out I can never put them back in <laughs> and then also some like little orange wood sticks there as well um, then next that I have my nail wipes um, and in there I have some um, small orange wood sticks um, and then I have a few brushes that I don't really use that often but I have to keep them because um, there are certain techniques that require these brushes but because I don't use them all the time I just keep them separate from my others so this is oh, this is a Lacente G1 brush if it wants to focus um, this is the Lacente 
you know what, I'm just going to switch on my table lamp. So uh, for our table lamps, we use the daylight, um, what are they called? Like ultra thin lamp or something like that they're called. Um, but they're really good. They produce a lot of light. So this is the Lacente G1 brush. And this is what I would use for loose glitter. So you can see it is pretty battered. The bristles on it are absolutely knackered, to be honest. Um, we used to use a lot of loose glitters um, before we used Light Elegance. So um, I would use that if I was doing like a, a loose glitter and I wanted to apply it to the sticky layer. Um, so it has had a lot of use in its time, but um, I just occasionally need it. So I just keep that one in my little box. Um, this one here is a Crystal Nails, what one is this? This is a number three brush. So this is an angled brush, a bit like the Light Elegant Smarline brush, but just a little bit smaller. Um, so I just keep that as like a spare. And then I have a Barbara Two brush. These are all Crystal Nails brushes, Barbara Two. And this is the brush I use when I paint with acrylic paint. Then we have the, oh, where are we? Uh, so this is the One Move 2 brush. And this is what I use to do my one stroke painting with. So you can see it's um, flat edge, slightly angled. Um, and it is my favorite brush for one move, one stroke. And then the last one I have is my uh, mini 3D brush. So this is actually a 3D brush for like acrylic uh, liquid and powder, but um, I use it for blending um, gel paint colors and stuff. So um, even though it's for acrylic, I keep it because it's useful for all those kinds of things. So I'll just pop those back in there. And then we have um, this little uh, caddy here, um, which normally I'd have my jar with my um, Barbicide or Mundo, whichever we're using at the time. Um, that's in the kitchen because it would have been washed at the end of last week. Um, and then I have my um, Ellie cleanser in this one and then remover for soak off gels. And then I have my Light Elegance cuticle oil which is my favorite oil um so love that so we've got that there then we have I have all my bonders in here so i've got um the pink power bond then i have uh tack air bond and then also top coat so i have super shiny and top gloss I've also got a flat mat but I think that's in the training room at the minute so um, that normally lives in here as well and then I also have my um, Ellie brush on nail glue which is what I use for my crystals um, and it it's amazing for crystals they never come off um, I also keep a tube of CND cute color razor in here um, to be honest the only time I use this is if I'm doing like a luxury manicure, which is very rare. Um, so that's just in there for for those. And then I also have a few pinching clips in there as well um, to use. And then I also have some metal tools in here as well. So I have my, I think that's it. So just some old tweezers. Um, they're nothing special it's just literally for um you know if you get like a bit of fluff or something in the nail or if, sometimes if you've got larger crystals they don't quite work with the um crystal katana so i will use the tweezers to put those into place um i have a pair of the crystal nails gold scissors um so I keep those in there. And then also my Light Elegance nippers. I like to have nippers and scissors because sometimes I find, depending on the skin, I find it easier with either a nipper or a scissor. So um, I like to keep both. 
Um, this is, I don't even know, I don't even know where this is from, to be honest, these scissors. I think I bought them, I think they're really old. They're probably almost possibly as long as I've been an Altec. Um, but I use these for um, trimming my forms. So um, they live in there. And then also just a nail clipper. Oh, it just sits on there like that. So that's that side. And then on the other side, I have my, um, I have Cool Blue and the Mundo Hand and Foot Spray. Um, they're just like sanitizers. Uh, sometimes I like to use a gel and sometimes I like to use a spray. So I just keep both of these here. Um, we also use, <laughs> and I don't know whether this is right or not, but we used to have the uh, Mundo File Spray as well. But actually, when you look at the ingredients, they are exactly the same. So we actually use this to um, spray our files with um, because the files that we use are really good quality. We don't need to use a new one for every customer, but obviously we want to make sure they're clean. So we just brush the dust off and give them a spray. Um, got some nitrile gloves. Um, I normally like the black ones because I find they're the strongest for some bizarre reason um, but I'm having trouble getting hold of black ones at the minute so um, we've just got these pink ones for now. Um, sharpie pen, you know, just in case you need a sharpie. Um, and then we have the C&D sensations for our hand lotion. I always put hand lotion on at the end of the treatment because um, it makes the, well I just think it feels nice for the customer but also it's um, makes the hands look better in photos as well um so then we have my light elegance selena ryden brush kit and as you can see it's pretty full of brushes and i've not even finished to be honest because i'd like to get some more brushes <laughs> so it's probably easier for me to just tip oh tip Hang on a minute. i can't do this so, I'm take all of these out and then we'll just put them back in and I can show you what I've got. So, we have the, what is this? This is the round number 20 brush. So this is like your small detailer brush uh, before they bought out the Selena um, signature set. Um, I don't tend to use it so much for detail work. I'll use it if I need to like touch up a little bit of gel um, around the edges or something um, it's quite good for that so this one here is a ah there we go um, this one is a gel polish brush um, and this one I use for my pearly shimmery colours um, so it's got a little dot on the end there so I know which one that's for um, I then have a number four oval brush which is what I use for uh, my builder gel application then we have a shorty brush from selena's kit and a small line brush which is like the angled one um then i just have an old gel brush in here um we sometimes use an extra soak off gel uh, for some ladies that need a bit of extra strength for shellac but to be honest we're kind of phasing that out because um anyone who doesn't find that gel polish is strong enough for them um, we switch them straight onto the hard gel now so we've just got a couple of customers that still have it so I've got that brush in there for that reason then I have my um, light elegance cuticle pusher double ended with the knife bit on the end and then I have my stylus um, which I love this is like one of my absolute favorite tools I use it for everything and what do we have this one is a liner number 20 um it's quite thick for a liner um so i tend to use this one more if i'm adding kind of blocks of color in nail art because you can kind of get a bit more color on the brush um, but you can still keep it nice and um neat and then I have another number four oval brush. I always have two of these in my kit just in case because it's my favorite for the gel application. Then I have another gel polish brush and this one is for my glitters. 
I have my trusty old cuticle pusher. This is my very first cuticle pusher that I ever had when I was at college, so it's completely blunt. You physically could not do any thing with it it's so blunt um, but it, I, I quite like it for gel polish removal because I can sanitize it um, I'm not having to use like orange wood sticks all the time um, but as I say there's literally no sharpness to it so I'm not I'm not going to cause any damage and I'm always really gentle with removal anyway um, next up is the block brush from Selena's signature kit I love that for marbling um, I then have my crappy old uh, number six gel brush from crystal nails um this is so old and it's like so bad i don't know whether you can see it's like there's a gap in the middle of the bristles um and there's bits trimmed away at the edges where bits of where strands have been sticking out and all sorts so um i just keep that in there for um my power bond um because i don't have the new brush yet i know the new bottles have got a wider brush in them anyway um but this one I use for that and I also use it for my Vita Prime because I was an idiot and I opened my Vita Prime when it was frozen and I lost the brush and I also use it for P plus base because again we don't have the um, new brush in that one so that's why I use that and it's old and battered so I don't care um, if it gets battered a little bit more and I'm not using it for things that it was designed to be used for. Um, this one here is a stripy brush I actually have two of these because they are one of my they are my absolute favorite for um nail art so um i've got two of those in my kit i then have um a original gel polish brush so this one um doesn't have the black cap it's longer handle and the bristles are slightly different on it um, and this one i just use for like cream colors that one is in there and then I have the swirly brush from the Selena set, a number four flat brush, a little fluff, a big daddy. I've got a mixing spatula -y thing. I have no idea where this came from. I've had it for so long, um, but it's quite useful. I then have my crystal nail stylus as well. Um, again, I always like to keep a couple of different dotting needles because um, it's one of my most used items. And this one is also, because it's got the needle end, it's got a really ultra fine point, which is really useful. I then have my oh, um, Light Elegance pinching tool um, for pinching the nails. And then last but not least, I have my little um, silicone tool. Um, I originally bought this for Chrome, but to be honest, I didn't like it. Um, so I actually use um, this end here for um, when I put striping tape on, I use it to really make sure that the striping tape is sealed down onto the nail. So, and it works really well. I don't have to like get my um, I always think if I'm rubbing it with my finger, I'm getting my oils onto the nail and then I worry that it's going to make it more likely to lift, which was striping tape. We all know it's quite prone to that anyway, so um, I like to use my little silicone tool. And that is everything in my little um, Selena brush set. So that is everything on top of the desk and I'm now going to start showing you in the cupboards. Um, so I've got um, a cupboard on each side. Um, these desks do actually come with like a drawer underneath, but um, because we have um, arms on our chairs, um, with the drawer underneath it wouldn't fit, so um, we don't have those. I um, also have a little dust extractor there. It's pretty crap, to be honest. It's not the best in the world, and they are being replaced um, very soon. Um, but it's one of those things where dust extractors can be so expensive and sometimes i think something is better than nothing so we've been using those um for like the last year um and just as a little apology because this film is going to be so long i <laughs> once i'd finished doing the top of the desk i realized that i'd already taken like 15 minutes so this is going to be a long one guys so if you've got this far already then a well done to you <laughs> so 
Uh, this top uh, section of my cupboard um, is where I keep all of my sculpting gels and also other bits that I use in my services that I might not need all of the time, um, but just every now and again so that they're kind of out the way but within um, within reach. So um, I have a refill of Super Shiny because you know you always need a spare of Super Shiny. Um, I have a CND Glotten Block Buffery thing. Um, that's really just for when I do um, removals, which is very rare. Um, I've got a P plus in here that I need to put on a colour swatch stick, so that's the only reason that's in there. I don't normally keep P plus there. Um, I've got a folded up form, because, you know, why not? <laughs> um, I then have my trusty old tile, which is absolutely battered, um, but I use this if I'm doing um, nail art with gel polish, um, because then I can drop the colour onto the tile. I don't really need this for um, gel nail art because um, obviously it's just in a pot so I can just dip my nail art brush into that. I also have my cuticle bits, my cuticle bits, my e-file bits in here. So I have, just get these out. I always sit them on a nail wipe because I just, I worry that it, it's going to um, affect the bit if it's on the on the shelf. So here I have the speedy bit from Ellie. This is what I use to take down the bulk um, when people come back for a rebalance. Uh, we then have the preppy bit and this is for the cuticles. This is just the like the safety bit that comes in when you first get your e-file. Um, I then have a little um, cuticle burr. I don't use that this that often I just have a couple of customers that need a little bit more um, cuticle work and I'll use that around the you know like roughened areas of skin around the cuticle and um, that was from uh, Chrissy Pierce and then this one here is the smoothie bit from Ellie so those are my cuticle bits I don't have loads because to be honest I find they do the job just fine so um, I don't feel like I need anything else um, and then here I have a load of different um, sculpting gels so I'm not going to take all of them out because we'll be here forever but I have um, manicure gel here um, one step and pink one step cool gel natural pink cool gel soft pink extreme pink extreme extreme which I've got doubled up because the top one is nearly run out um, I do love extreme gel um, then I have natural tip cosmetic pink builder builder clear natural fiber fiber natural pink fiber and then along here I have to be honest I should get rid of this because it's just an empty old pot of your churn um, then I have some bio base gel and executive base so this is what i use if i'm just adding an extra layer of like stronger soak off gel underneath a gel polish um, but as i say we're going to be phasing that one out because hard gel is the way to go i then have um cnd rescue rx this is what we use for um like in removals um, we also retail that as well to customers after they've had their hard gel removed or shellac, either one. Um, and then I've got my shellac base and top coat. These very rarely get used now, but I have to keep them there just in case. Um, I've got an old bottle of Taylor Bond from Dash and Diva just in case um, the lid on my other one gets stuck. Um, then I have CND uh, Ridge FX and Vinylux top coat. Again, very, very rarely use these, but I have to keep them just in case. They are for use with just normal, regular polish. And again, Solar Speed Spray, which is used with um, regular nail polish. I also have back here a bottle of CND Cuticle Away. 
to be honest I could get rid of this because I literally have not used it in probably about a year and a half or two years I have back here what is this I have some Brisa gel from CND I don't even know why this is in here it's funny when you start looking through your cupboards you suddenly realize you've got loads of crap you don't even need um i also have my um le sculpting forms absolutely love these forms and then i have a little um fluffy brush um, this i just use to kind of like wipe down my table or when i'm cleaning out the dust extractor and then i also have um, a roll of crystal nails extreme forms and um, this is what I used before I used the LE forms um, they're perfectly fine they're good forms and I used them for a long long time before I used the LE ones they are really nice um, but I just prefer the LE ones now so um, but they sit there just in case I need them and then I have some cleansing wipes at the back uh, so that is that cupboard pretty much got an extension need at the back there to be honest i could probably get rid of that but it's a bit of a pain to try and like unweave it through um because it goes to the other side of the desk so um while it's not causing me any bother i just leave it there um and then on the bottom shelf not much going on on this one i've just got some um remover wraps for when i'm taking gel polish off i've got my zippy file which sits at the bottom there and um, with its charger in and then I have some um, Mondo Power Plus and some Mondo Surface Disinfectant Spray, which is what I use to clean my desk at the end of the day. So into the left cupboard, uh, just move my couch roll. I just use um, couch roll on the desk, any couch roll to be honest. It just depends where I'm getting other things as to where I get that from. Uh, this desk is a total shambles. <coughs> so, this cupboard, I'm, I'm actually a little bit embarrassed. Um, <laughs> this is basically, if I have something and I don't really know where to put it, I just shove it in this cupboard, as you can tell. Um, the cupboard underneath here, I've got <laughs> a spare Selena brush kit. Um, and then I also have some little nail art tips that i've been doing i've got some more forms which are more for like competition or extreme shapes i've got some febreze um because winnie's cage is just there so um i like to give it a little bit of a spray at the end of the day and then there's some like dog treats behind there and goodness knows what um at the top we've got a dog treats and i've got my crystal katana which I swear by. I've got some, um, what are these called? Bin bags. That's a technical word, isn't it? Um, I have my sparkly mat for my photos. And then, to be honest, I don't think I'm actually going to pull everything out because it's all a bit much. But I basically have just random stuff. So I've got some um, tissues in there. Um, bits of paper where I've drawn um, ideas on for doing sets of nails, um, some display tips, some, this is like a furry mat thing for um, photos. Um, I've got an empty pot um, for, because just in case I want to pre-mix anything. Um, I also have my gum, I've got some cough sweets. <laughs> Uh, my nail art tips um, that I've used in my display previously. Um, some invoices there that need to be filed away. And just other random crap like that, to be honest. Nothing very interesting. Um, so, we'll close that door and pretend that didn't happen. Oops. And now we come to the caddy famous caddy so in here we keep basically keep everything that we share between the three of us um so here we keep things like colors and nail art stuff and everything so we'll start from the top and work down um on the top here we have our swatch sticks for all of our color and glitter gels 
So this is what I spent hours doing the other week, if you saw my vlog, and I was saying that there were you know, I'd started it and it was like the worst job ever, it took forever. So um, I've got all of those in colour order. So that's those, they just live on the top there. Um, then I have this bag here, which is so old now. I think this bag's probably about six or seven years old from Rue Beauty, but it's done me well. And in here I have loads of acrylic paints and um, spare brushes. They're basically brushes that, to be honest, they're pretty rubbish, they're pretty battered. But um, if I get someone to start that hasn't got a brush, it's better for them to just try techniques with those before they buy anyway. Um, so that's just loads of acrylic paints in there. Then in the top drawer here we have a load of colour gels, so in this top drawer we have um, our whites, our pinks, um, corals, reds, greens, yellows. Um, I have to keep things in colour coordination because otherwise I get very confused about where things are. So um, this is all um, been done recently when I did the colour stick, so basically the <laughs> like one colour stick, so if I show you one hoop. So this hoop, basically all the colours from this hoop are in this drawer, so it just helps to make it a bit more organised and means we can find colours quicker when we're with customers as well. So that's in there. Uh, the next drawer is all of our like blues and purples, um, browns, nude colours, black, gold, silver. Um, again, they match up with the um, ring of the colour sticks, so that works really well. The next one is a bit of a mishmash drawer. So in here we have um, perfect white and Swedish white. Um, we have the Light Ergens family favourites, the butt creams. Um, we have French tip. And then we have a load of crystals lots of different colours, a little cool gel pot there and some little um, crystal shapes. Um, all the crystals that we use are Swarovski, um, I just, there's nothing better to them than, to, than them to be honest, so um, we always use real Swarovski, even though they're expensive but I kind of think it's worth it and we charge our customers for them so you know, we're not losing money. Um, then the next drawer I really need to sort because this is our glitter drawer and at the minute all the glitters are in one drawer. So um, we do have the Christmas colours in here as well because um, as I say the, um, the package had got a little bit battered so we've got like dance till dawn there and um, ravishing red there so um, that needs to be organized at some point but again it's one of them jobs I know when I start it it's gonna take me forever the next drawer is a bit of a odds and sods drawer um, so I've got um, makeup sponges which I need to buy some more of um, we use these for um, chrome and then I've just got loads of colour sticks from products that we no longer use basically um, and also spare ones that we can just um, like paint over the top of. Um, and then I've also got some old uh, Brisa gel, this is what I used before I used Ellie um, and to be honest I, n I haven't used it in a year now um, but I feel like I have to keep it because <laughs> Um, I don't like to tempt fate <laughs> and get rid of these things because it would be my luck that I start having an allergic reaction to something so it just sits there just in case but hopefully I won't ever have to um, go back hopefully I can keep with the Ellie because their stuff seems to suit me um, this drawer here we have um, more crystals um, so we've got silver ones, blue ones, um, crystal shapes, Swarovski shapes and um, 
some more here in like the little pots again all real Swarovski we always use real ones and then also some um, of the like Ciarte Caviar beads and uh, we've got some neon studs some pearls and then all of these pots here are all like elegance pigments so um, we've got the premium pretties the sugars uh, the pretties and the primaries I think they're called yes primaries um, and also things like the gold and silver sparkle the uh, rainbow chrome um, the silver chrome all things like that so um, lots of goodness in this drawer and the next drawer is kind of a mixture of nail art stuff so um, we have angel papers from uh, the nail team so we've got um, bubblegum pink um, spearmint which is really lush I love this angel paper um, that is not apple sours because that's in the wrong we're missing another oh there it is they're in the wrong okay so that is apple sours <laughs> and this is peaches and cream they were in the wrong one so anyway we've got five um, different angel papers um, and then just a couple of like spare empty pots you never know when you need these things some striping tapes so we've just got a load of those lots of different um, colors and effects we then have a load of transfer falls I've got absolutely loads of those um, and then we have some um, sachets of um, glitter and then we have loads of this one here is a swatch selection of like loose glitters um, and then we have loads of loose glitters and um, we've also got like the chameleon flakes in here and these are from the nail team and then all these pots of glitter are all from diamond glitters um, and I used these loads last um, like November, December, January time, I use so much of them. Um, but then we just use like Elegance glitters because they're so good now. So, and it's less mess because it's all in the gel. So um, I'll probably keep them for a little while, but eventually I would imagine these will, um, these will go because we don't really need them to be honest. Next drawer is, <laughs> another one that's full of glitter and foils so we've got loads um, on um, display on there and then we've got loads of glitters and foils um, all of the I don't know why that's in there all of the glitters and the foils in this drawer are all from Artelio um, which is an American brand by a nail tech called Sarah Bland um, and they are really beautiful glitters um, these were like my go-to range when I used to just use mostly gel polish um, because they'd go on so smoothly onto the sticky layer so I never got any problems with like a rough feeling or anything like that so absolutely love these glitters if you like using loose glitters um, Artelio are definitely a good one to, uh, to try and the next one you've guessed it more glitter again more um, Artelio glitters and then the last drawer is again more glitters and pigments so um, the Sente um, glitters down here um, I do really love the um, diamond shaped glitters I don't know whether it's gonna focus probably not they're basically like diamond shaped oh hopefully you can kind of see that um, so I do really like those um, and then we also have the Vicente neon pigments um, some shellac swatch sticks there and then the CND additives at the back as well um, again to be honest a drawer that we probably don't need at least half of what's in there but you know I think we're all the same us nail techs we like to hoard our goodies 
And that's it. If you made it through this far, well done. Give yourself a pat on the back because that was a flipping long video. Um, but I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed seeing my desk and all of the products that I use um, in my work. And um, if you want to see the other option, which was the 10, um, my top 10 light elegance colors and glitters, um, leave me a comment down below. Um, and I will see you in my next video. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next one. Thanks guys, bye.